Hi everyone, this is Sami Dada channel and this is Sishi and I'm Harina. <laughs> Today I would like to talk about my maternity experience giving birth to my first child during the pandemic. I gave birth in Japan, so it may not be very helpful depending on the area where you live in, but I hope it will be interesting to know how it was in Japan. I'm also very interested in um, how it was in other parts of the world, so please feel free to share in the comments. <laughs> Just to be clear, uh, what I talk about here is my personal opinion. Uh, please keep in mind that every childbirth and pregnancy, of course, is different depending on the environment and you. So, um, please understand. So I first found out that I was uh, pregnant in uh, September 2021. The first state of emergency uh, had been declared in April of that year and the whole of Japan was pretty much in chaos because of it. All the shops were closed in the tourist areas and uh, Kyoto city seemed like a ghost town. <laughs> Every time you saw the news, the number of um, infected people increased and that was quite scary. That was when I found out that I was pregnant with him. <laughs> and at the same time, I was very, very happy. However, um, what I expected, I mean, um, pregnancy and childbirth that um, I expected was quite different from what I experienced in the pandemic. So let's start from the hard parts. First, being worried all the time. Um, like any expecting mother, uh, I was worried about my body and uh, my child every waking moment. And on top of that, I was uh, very worried about what would happen if I was infected with Corona. At that time, there was no information that I could find on a pregnant woman getting infected and giving birth uh, safely. So uh, naturally, I was quite worried about what would um, happen uh, if I got infected while I was commuting to work. And I tried to avoid busy hours. Also, I avoided uh, touching things that other people did. That was nearly impossible though. Also, what was known about Corona, uh, there were a lot of uncertain facts. And there was also a lot of false rumor online. So anyway, um, I was I was paranoid um, not to get infected, and it was quite hard for me to do uh, everyday things and everyday maternity things <laughs> with all the precautions I took. Uh, next, not being able to take maternity classes. Um, in Japan, most uh, obstetrics departments hold um, parenting classes and classes on childbirth uh, before the birth to get you ready. Uh, but due to Corona, all of them were canceled and I had to rely on the internet to gather information. Uh, you can easily get information online and um, I was also able to take the classes online. But honestly, um, I wanted to talk directly with the midwives that would take care of me on the big day. And um, I also wanted to talk to other pregnant women to exchange um, information and opinions. Next, the delivery. I know every mother has been through it. Humans have been doing so for thousands of years, but it was my first time um, to experience it. And um, 
not having my husband um, with me made me feel uneasy. Um, he wasn't able to be there because of the risk of infection. Yep. And we were very, very disappointed when we found out that he could not be there when it happened. Um, I was um, also so very sorry for him because he was so supportive throughout the pregnancy and I knew he was very excited about it. They allowed us to stay on video chat until uh, the moment of delivery and the midwives were with me uh, to reassure me uh, throughout the whole thing but what I needed was him to be with me and comfort me also uh, we were allowed to uh, call I was allowed to call him on the delivery table so he was able to meet our son right after he was born next being alone at the hospital. In Japan, usually you spend a few days in the hospital after giving birth and family and close friends would visit you and the newborn baby. Um, in my case, the visits were prohibited and I was lonely and missed seeing my family, especially at night when I had to stay up and take care of him. And for some reason, uh, this is not a Japanese tradition or anything, but my family had a, a birthday party for my son without me and my son present, and I was quite envious of that. By the way, I don't know if this is all around the world, but I had to wear a face mask uh, while giving birth and I felt like that uh, lack of oxygen made it harder for me. Uh, finally, this is ongoing, but not having the opportunity for the in-laws to meet my son. I feel really bad that my husband's family that live in a different part of Japan cannot travel safely yet and they still haven't been able to meet their grandson. I try my best to take pictures and videos of his everyday life and share them on an app so they don't miss a whole part of his baby days but I imagine it must be frustrating for them not being able to meet him. Now it was not all that bad. Here are some things that turned out to be not as bad as I expected. Uh, first, working from home. So as you can imagine, and as I've been going on, um, I was very nervous and tired of commuting to work. However, uh, many businesses, uh, including the company I work for, started to allow employees to work from home. Um, I was relieved from the huge daily stress, so that was a big plus. By the way, working from home was not so popular till recently in Japan. I hope now that many people know that it's possible, uh, we have a choice to do so if we wish. Next, thanks to the pandemic, the world has become more sensitive to cleanliness and sanitization. So even if I was over careful about sterilization, no one told me, or at least not directly, that I was being oversensitive because the baby was nearly here. Next, social distancing. Over my pregnancy, I had become very sensitive to smell and body odor, so I was quite grateful that the idea of social distancing had spread and people kept a distance. Finally, staying at home. Because um, of the stay at home movement all over Japan, people were refraining from drinking, traveling, and partying outside. So me, being pregnant and refraining from doing those activities anyway, didn't feel that I was the only one missing out on the fun. 
So those were the good and bad that I experienced through my maternity life in this pandemic. Um, it was quite different from the maternity life that I imagined that I was going to have. I really had no time to relax and enjoy it. But um, looking back, I think it was a once in a lifetime experience. Okay, so that's it for this video. Uh, any comments are very much appreciated. And thank you for watching till the end, and I hope to see you again on the next video. Bye for now. Bye -bye.